Hello, everybody. I'm Eric, if you haven't met me, uh, creator of Bomb Squad. And today it would seem I have an announcement to make. <laughs> so I keep getting messages from people asking like, where's the announcement? Why haven't you made the announcement yet? So I better do that. Uh, so first off, I hope everyone is doing well and with this crazy virus situation, staying inside, staying safe, taking care of yourself, playing video games, you know, all the important stuff. And hopefully this will give you some, some stuff to occupy your time, some of you at least, to help with that. Um, I also wanted to thank anyone who's been playing the game for the past, oh my gosh, how long has it been out? I, I realize it's almost 10 years. It's getting close. Uh, I released this game on Mac in 2011, I think, initially. So I'll have to <laughs> plan something for the 10 year anniversary soon. It's crazy. Um, but yeah. I also wanted to thank all the modders and people that have just been, you know, making the game their own. I think that is awesome, like, what people have done. Uh, so many of you have, like, reverse engineered the mesh file formats and added your own stuff and made mini games and changed game mechanics. And, like, I love seeing what people have done with the game. And so part of what I'm announcing today is trying to kind of embrace that and make that easier. Uh, and so this is something I've been working on for a while. I've been working on all this for about two years, like these big improvements that are leading up to the 2.0 version. And so some of them today I will be showing you. So today what I'm announcing is kind of two things. One is test builds for Bomb Squad 1.5, but related to that is what I'm calling the Ballistica project. So if we go to ballistica.net, there's nothing here but a link. This will take us to GitHub. And so what the Ballistica project is, it's the name I came up with for essentially kind of the guts of Bomb Squad, like the engine behind Bomb Squad. Uh, and I wanted to give this a different name than Bomb Squad just because it could theoretically be used to make different games, you know, like spin-offs or other types of games or things like that, kind of using the same Bomb Squad style. I don't have plans for any of that, but I just wanted to keep it in mind. So if you see the name Ballistica, it essentially is Bomb Squad, just the engine. So this should be public by the time you see it, this GitHub repo. So you should be able to kind of glance through. I've written up a bunch of docs, like what this is, what it's about. There's some really big, really fun tech changes between this and the Bomb Squad 1.4 engine. Uh, namely, all the Python code has been majorly updated. It used to be Python 2.7. It's now 3.7. And I've added uh, type annotations to all the code. I've refactored a lot of it, reorganized a lot of it. Some of you modders are gonna probably hate me, but I think this will be good in the end. Uh, so yes, it's, it's very exciting stuff. It'll probably take a little bit of time to, to update mods and things for this new system, but I think it'll be worth it. So anyway, you can see I've put a lot of my tools and a lot of the game is available in GitHub now. There's some parts that still aren't, like the underlying C++ layer, that is still kind of closed source. Uh, but all of my scripts, if you go to assets, source, the Python stuff, you'll see like all the game scripts are up in here, as well as all of my tools, you know, everything that kind of packages the scripts up, everything that runs checks on the scripts. There's tons of stuff here. Like I, I wanted to make a lot of this available to people so that people can use all the same stuff that I'm using. Um, a lot of people have done great work. I know just like hacking scripts in notepad.exe and things like that. And you know, they're a good tool set can really make things like that a lot easier. So that's, that was part of this, this project is just kind of opening some of that up to the community. And so if you go to the wiki, there's another thing is I wanted to open up documentation and uh, just open everything up to the community. So I have this public wiki if you want to edit this, add your own stuff, revise things, go ahead. We'll see how this goes. This will be kind of a learning experience. But this is the wiki. This goes over a bunch of basic stuff with, with Ballistica. There's a getting started section. Uh, right now, I, I have a pretty clean workflow for downloading and running the game on Mac, Linux, or Windows. So I'm going to show you that here just on Mac. Uh, but it should work identically on Linux or Windows. Soon I'll have a way to be able to build uh, the Android version from any of these three, but for right now, you can only build these three platforms. So essentially, if you follow this step-by-step, step, it should be self-explanatory. So I'm just gonna do that here, a little live demo, those always go well. I'm just gonna skip down to the part where I grab the Git repo. Uh, so let's just do Git clone, Ballistica, 
and boom. All right, I now have, I've just downloaded this stuff from GitHub. So everything I just showed you, all the, the scripts, etc., etc. Here's all the, the core game scripts. And now if you follow the kind of basics here, essentially all you have to do is run these simple commands. So I'm gonna make a prefabricated version of the game. I'll just do prefab release. So it's gonna check my environment. It's gonna download whatever it needs. Uh, it's grabbing some assets. It's gonna grab like the, the game binaries that have been built already. Uh, this stuff all stays in sync. So as I'm working on this stuff, you will grab the latest version of everything. So if you're using the Ballistica project, kind of running this stuff yourself, beware that you're probably gonna hit bugs and things like that because you're, you're gonna be getting kind of development versions of everything. But for those of you who like that, cool. Um, so that's part of this, is just kind of making, making development of the game more kind of public and more open to everyone. Um, so if people you know, wanna contribute their own little UI snippets or you know, if people find a bug and you wanna contribute a fix for that or anything, uh, you can all do that on the, the public Git, GitHub repo. And this, it's gonna take a minute, it has a lot of files and things to download and extract, but one thing to check out is the roadmap here. So, oh, never mind. We'll, we'll revisit that in a moment. All right. So you see that it took a minute the first time we did it, but it'll be faster after that, but after it's downloaded everything. So if we run this again, make prefab release, it's got nothing to do, so boom. All right, so we've just basically packaged up and built our own version of the game. So if we edit, if we edit any of the scripts and things like that that are included in the repo, we can just rerun the game and see those changes. Uh, it makes it really easy to uh, kind of iterate on development. And there's also, you can run debug versions of the game too, which is exciting. If I do prefab debug, so see it's downloading the debug build. It already has all the scripts and boom. So for the first time, you guys have access to the debug builds. You see debug, 1.5.0 debug, hooray. Debug builds do a lot more checking and things like that. So they're, they're good for, you know, if you're making your own game types and you just wanna make sure everything's working. And as I said, this same process also works identically on Linux or Windows. So if you go through the getting started section, it talks about how Windows works. Essentially, you just need to install uh, some, what's it called? Windows subsystem for Linux, which gives you all these cool little Unixy tools. This stuff is only used to build the game. To actually run it, you just need Windows. But you'll see this looks exactly the same as the Mac version. I've already downloaded it here, but if we go CD Ballistica and make prefab release, now it's gonna do the exact same thing it just did. Download the build if need be, and then spin it up, and here we go. Got Bomb Squad 1.5 running on Windows. And the cool thing is this runs in the terminal too, so if you're on Windows, you can see all the nerdy debug output. So this is really handy if you're uh, working on game scripts and things like that. So that's that. And so the goal here is what you'll see right now is Ballistica 1.5 or Bomb Squad 1.5 which is actually kind of boring. Uh, the whole goal with 1.5 now is to replace 1.4 as fast as possible. So I want to get this out in the world because right now it's, it's slowing me down a bit trying to maintain 1.4 and also one, work on 1.5. So at some point, just need to kind of say goodbye to the past and get 1.5 out there. So that will be my next goal to do that as fast as possible. Um, after that, some fun stuff starts happening. So 1.5.1 will follow that immediately up and this is using some new tech that I've been working on, which will let you basically spin up your own game server in the cloud, which will be very, very cool, and should, uh, or your own private game in the cloud. So this will replace the um, Google Play connection stuff that some of you noticed stopped working <laughs> a few days ago. Uh, Google deprecated that tech, sadly. So I've been working as fast as I can to try to replace it with, with some of this 1.5 tech. So hopefully this will be out soon. And then after that, a uh, very cool feature coming in Ballistica 1.6 or Bomb Squad 1.6, which will be the next on deck, is this fancy new dependency system where modders basically you'll be able to upload PNG files and kind of source, source files, um, upload your own models, things like that. And those will be stored in the cloud and compiled in the cloud. And then anyone running the game that connects to one of your, 
your games will automatically download those assets in the correct format. Um, so handing out, so making mods will be much simpler. You won't have to have people manually install a bunch of uh, Bob files and COB files and um, audio files and things like that. So that'll be really exciting. 1.7 will focus a bit more on cleanup and then 2.0 is going to be very cool. <laughs> uh, this is basically, it's gonna have online centric play. So this is a lot like what you see in other games, you know, where you, you go in, you, know, you create a squad, you invite some of your friends and then you just play games against other squads online. So it's gonna have the ability to do matchmaking and all cloud-based games running on secure servers. So no hacking, <laughs> it'll be good. Um, so hopefully it won't take too, too long to get to that stuff. But this, again, this is the roadmap if you want to check it out. I, I didn't put dates on all these because I'm, I'm working as fast as I can. We'll get there as fast as we can, but yeah. So anyway, that's largely it. So um, yeah, for today, if you want to start just playing around with this stuff, again, this is mostly uh, relevant to modders and tinkerers and tech types. Also be very aware that at least at the moment, these builds are very rough around the edges and very broken. So don't expect to be using uh, Ballistica 1.5 builds to play with your friends tonight or anything like that. I'm hoping within the next few days, I can start to polish these and get the bugs out and, and hopefully very, very soon they will be 100% usable. But for right now, I've been focusing on just getting the, you know, the GitHub wiki and all these documentation bits put together. So the builds themselves are a little ugly. Um, and yeah, let's just see how this goes. So I'm really excited to kind of open up all this stuff to the community more. Uh, please post questions if you have them. Uh, look through all these docs. Let me know what you think. And it'll be kind of a, a learning experience just to see how we can get the community more involved in the game. You know, I'd love to just see where this can go. So anyway, that's the announcement for today. I hope, hope you enjoy, <laughs> have fun, and I will talk to you all soon.